Hi everyone, welcome to another journal with me. I have an exciting one for you today. I'm using this Cress Press Kit to journal in and fill in my Erin Condren spread for the week that I went to Tokyo. So here are the stickers that I have. It's a mini kit. So excited that Crest Press is open again. I decided to use holographic and silver foil for this spread. I'm also using the Pilot Juice in 0.4 millimeters, which has become one of my new favorite pens. It's giving my high Texia run for its money. And I'm also using, I actually don't think I ended up using that Symboline marker because I didn't use any glossy stickers this week. Anyway, the first thing that I'm doing is putting down the washi tape. I decided to use some Simply Gilded washi instead of the washi that came with the kit because I thought it was really pretty and I just wanted to use more washi. I preferred it over the washi in the kit. So this one is from a Happy Scrappy Sub and I ended up whiting out the lines at the bottom because you could kind of see it. It doesn't really bother me, but I know it bothers some of you, so I decided to white it out. Next, I'm putting down some glitter headers. These aren't actually in my shop. I was trying to do a holographic foil as part of one of the holiday collections, and I don't know how I feel about it. It looks more like a cozy wool sweater that Mrs. Weasley would knit for Luna Lovegood during the holiday season, so it didn't make it into the holiday collection, but I really like it actually and the colors went really well with this kit so I used it on the top and bottom rows. I left out the middle for more room to fill in things that happened. On top of it I put down the Rose Color Days holographic overlays and they're like the confetti overlays that she has. They add just a bit of iridescence to the headers and they went so well together so I'm really happy about that. I don't usually pull in overlays unless it's a special occasion, which this week definitely was. So now I'm putting down the date covers with the date dots that came with the kit. So basically this week is a week that I went on a family vacation with my parents and siblings. We went to Tokyo and Hong Kong for 10 days and we went on Wednesday. So the beginning of the week, I actually didn't have many plans or I did, but I didn't write them down. It was quite busy actually, but because I didn't write anything down, I don't remember what I did. So I did have trouble filling that section out, but we may do. Anyway, moving over to the sidebar, I did white out the asterisk and replace it with one of the deco stickers that came with the kit. Then I put down this full box. This is my favorite full box. It is an add-on with a kit. It's just a girl with her coffee and a drink, and she's staring out the window on a plane, which I love. I mean, I definitely double fist with a coffee and a drink. Well, I don't normally do that, but I definitely can appreciate the sentiment. By the way, this week I had a lot of trouble cutting my washi. I don't know what it was, but I just couldn't rip it with the ruler, and every time I tried to cut it straight, Using my ruler as a guide, my X-Acto knife would like go every which direction and it was really weird. So that one was okay, but others it was quite, quite messy. So you'll see me struggle with that during this week. But other than that, well, what am I saying? I, this week was definitely a hot mess planning wise. I, it's just such a special week, you know, and I know some of you can relate where with a special week, we put so much pressure on ourselves to make our planner pretty, which is so silly, but it's true. So I kind of struggled in the beginning with this one, but it all turned out beautifully and I'm happy. So anyway, moving over to Monday, I'm going to fill out the sidebar later. And when I do that, I'll explain what's going on there. On Monday, I went to get a mani-pedi before my trip. I like to get gel nails on both so that they last. I used a mani-pedi appointment from Lily Henry with a bow from Nikki Plus 3 on top of a half box. Then I put down some washi and a full box. I went to Pete's that day, I remember, and the barista or the guy, the cashier that took my order was so sweet and gave me my drink on the house. So that really made my day especially because I was feeling blue that day for some odd reason. And that's also why I put down this holographic foil Expecto Patronum sticker. This is a digital from Jesenia Printables. And I really like the sentiment of casting a spell, of using a happy thought to kind of banish 
the sadness and the dementors away. I think it's a nice metaphor for what was going on there. Anyway, I, for the life of me, could not remember what I did that day and I didn't have any reference. So I put down that I did laundry since I knew that I was going to be traveling soon. And at night, my sister brought back boba, so I put that down as well. When I go back down to the bottom of the planner, you'll see that that boba sticker is from Happy Daya. On Tuesday, I had brunch with Carolyn at one of my favorite brunch restaurants, and I used a brunch sticker from my newest addiction to mark that along with a heart arrow for my shop. We also, well, I got coffee from there, and they make really good coffee as well. So the coffee cup is from Sweet Kawaii Design. It's one of my favorites. She's so adorable. And I also used a coffee sticker that Malika hand-lettered that's available in my shop. Then I put down a suitcase that's actually deco that came with a kit over a flag because I basically went home and packed and got ready for the trip. And I had wine and popcorn that night with my sister, but I didn't have room to mark that because I really wanted to use this cute full box with a face mask and the toiletries. Then on Wednesday, we flew out. So in the morning, I finished up packing and I used a suitcase travel sticker from Paper Blush Bart, Silver Foiled. Then we flew out of San Francisco International Airport, which is about an hour drive away from where I live. So anyway, I put down my favorite flight tracker sticker from Crest Press as well. We flew into Haneda Airport in Tokyo. I used the airplane full box for that with the gorgeous airplane scene outside. I love that full box so much. I love flying, you guys. I just absolutely adore, especially taking off and landing. It's my favorite parts of flying. I also put down a plane icon from that same travel sheet from Paper Blush Bar and I wrote to Tokyo. So the flight from San Francisco is about eight hours, eight to nine hours. So basically I slept the entire way. I also had a drink and clearly I was not functioning correctly because I put that upside down. I meant to put the icon on the other side, but obviously I didn't think ahead and wrote on that little thing. I wanted to cover up the icon on there. So anyway, I flipped it back around. I did have a drink on the plane. I mean, it was like unlimited, so I didn't go ham or anything, but it was just nice and it was free, quote unquote, with my airplane's ticket. Anyway, I put down some Simply Gilded Washi at the bottom. So Tokyo is 17 hours ahead of San Francisco. So basically traveling there took the entire day and a half. So we didn't land until the 13th at about 1 p.m. So that's why I didn't have much to mark until then. I put down a full box for Thursday morning, the one that says Japan. A huge reason that I chose this kit is that it's so perfect because it says Japan and I was going to Japan. It was my first time in Tokyo, which was incredible. So I put down a boarding pass or airline tickets that came as deco with the kit over a quarter box or an event label that, that I marked landing in Tokyo with. We took the subway to our hotel. Real struggle, by the way, with all of our suitcases, but it was way less expensive to take the subway than it is to take a taxi, so we ended up doing that. If you watch the Shib Sibs, Alex and Maya, they were in Tokyo, and they also did an Insta story of them taking the subway with their humongo suitcases, and there's like an Insta story of Alex taking down four huge suitcases down a set of stairs. The Tokyo subway system is super complex, so there are a lot of stairs and layers. So basically, oh, and the elevators are not so easy to find sometimes. So anyway, I'm rambling. Basically, it's a struggle. So pack light when you go to Tokyo. We checked into our hotel, that icon is from Paper Blush Bar as well, and we chilled out. Then we went out to get some dinner we went to get marigame udon, marigame udon. I don't know how to pronounce that, but there's actually some here in the States, one in Daly City in San Francisco, in fact. So I used a Grin and Barrett ramen sticker to mark that, and then in the evening, we were really tired from all the traveling, so we decided to turn in early for the night. On Friday morning, my siblings and I went to Lawson, which is like a convenience store, but way better than the ones you see here in the States. It's like a cut above. They have really yummy food and beverages and snacks and basically everything that you can need there. 
So we went to get breakfast, onigiri and coffee, and of course I used the cute onigiri munchkin from Once More With Love. Then we went to the Tokyo Metropolitan Tower and we went up to the top and there's a beautiful view of the city. I used this traveling sticker again from Paper Blush Bar to mark that. Afterwards, we walked to Shinjuku and I used a Longchamp bag from Paper Paper Company because I didn't really know what else to use and I'm pretty sure that I wore my Longchamp that day, so it was perfect. We stopped by Blue Bottle Coffee, which is based out of the Bay Area here in California, but I was so excited that there was one in Tokyo, so I decided to stop by and grab a coffee. And then we went to this really delicious katsu place. It's like a hole in the wall, but it was so, so good. It's unlike anything here that actually that I've ever had anywhere. So just this really tender katsu that you cook. They give you a little mini stone, like what's it called? A hot stone basically to cook the katsu on. And there's a bunch of sh side dish side dishes excuse me i'm getting like way too excited and i didn't have a katsu sticker like a japanese katsu sticker to mark that so i used a korean barbecue sticker instead that's from happy daya then we went shopping in shinjuku we walked around and looked at a bunch of stores and then in the evening we had ramen for dinner and i used this eat ramen sticker from wonton in a million it's like from her tokyo travel set in the evening, my legs were really tired from a day of walking, so I decided to do some yoga to stretch out, and I used a little thing to mark that. Now I'm pulling in some full box overlays from Rose Colored Days. These are holographic foil, and of course, I had to pull them into the spread because it was such a special and fun week. So I put that on the full box on Thursday, and later on, I'm going to put another one on this full box that I'm putting down now. At the top, I put down some washi. Initially, I wanted to use those silver bows, but it was too wide and I wanted more white space, so I brought out the confetti one that's a little bit skinnier. We went to this delicious revolving sushi restaurant for lunch and they had such amazing sushi and dessert. I'm still thinking about it. It was so, so good. It's called Sushiro. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce anything, so please excuse me. I also put down a bow from The Given Girl just to decorate that box a little bit more. By the way, my Tokyo vlogs are both up, so if you're interested to see these plans or these, I guess, memories in real life, definitely go watch the vlogs. There are two of them. Afterwards, we went to visit one of the temples in Tokyo. I forgot, or actually I'm not really sure what it was called in the first place, but that's exactly what it looked like. That sticker from Wonton in a Million was perfect to mark that. I also got some soda soft serve there, which is such an interesting flavor. It's like blue and it tastes really sweet like candy, so that was fun. I used a Whimsical Cat Studio Girl holding the ice cream to mark that. Afterwards, we went back to the hotel to relax a little bit, and I ended up going to Starbucks and doing some journaling, which was really, really nice to get some alone time. In the evening, we went to get soba for dinner, which is type of noodle, and then we visited the Gundam statue and light show, which is like a huge robot unicorn statue. It's in my vlog. It's really cool. It was my brother's favorite thing that we did when we were in Tokyo, so... Anyway, now I'm putting down another full box overlay on that box because I just thought it would go perfectly. It had that exact border space to fit the overlay, so I could not do it right. On Sunday, we took the subway to Shibuya. Well, we took the subway everywhere, but the sticker was so perfect, again from that same travel sheet from Paper Blush Bar. I used a camera icon because we visited the... Dogenzaka, Dogenzaka statue. It's like a statue of a dog, basically the dog statue, and took pictures there. And there was like a really sweet old man offering to take pictures for everyone. I don't know if it was a volunteer job or if it was his actual job, but either way, it was really sweet. And then we went to a mall nearby where they had Hakuhodo, which is a makeup brush brand that I specifically sought out to buy in Japan because I had heard that their brushes were phenomenal. And spoiler alert, they totally are. I used a Treat Yourself sticker from Viv Loves to Plan for Simply Watercolor Co. along with a heart arrow. 
Then, of course, there was a Starbucks right next to the Hakuhodo, the little boutique. Not boutique, but just where it was in the mall. It's kind of like how BB stores in department stores are. And so we stopped by and got some really interesting drinks. They had like a crispy sweet potato latte that my parents loved. I got some of my mugs. My sister got a really pretty tumbler like for hot drinks. So that was fun. We then stopped by a restaurant for lunch called Kailua Weekend, which is Hawaiian food. It was a refreshing change from all the Japanese food we had been having. And then we went to Yoyogi Park, which is probably one of my favorite places we went to in Tokyo. It's like a huge man-made park with temples inside and it was just so serene and calming. The trees are really tall and I really enjoyed that. Afterwards, we went to Tokyo Sky Tree for more shopping and dinner where I had my first draft acai, which was so delicious. I also used a bow to decorate that half box. Now I'm moving back over to the sidebar and filling it out. I did a kind of a currently section. So I remember I was currently eating onigiri, which was like my breakfast every day. I also really love drinking Picari Sweat, which is like an electrolyte drink in Asia. I actually spelled that wrong. It's spelled with a C. I was listening to Cannonball by Damien Rice and of course I was loving Tokyo. I just loved all the snacks and food and drinks in Japan. I mean there's nothing like that in the States and I miss that so much. Now I'm filling out the highlights of each day. By the way, I spelled Hakuhoto wrong back on Friday as well. I don't know. I guess I just forgot. Uh, I spelled it right in the sidebar here. This highlight of my day sticker is from C. Amy Draw. So this was the first half of the Tokyo trip, right? So the second half will be in the following week, which I will also journal on camera. That will be combined with the Hong Kong trip. So I will continue using the leftovers of this kit along with another kit from The Giving Girl. It's going to be a gorgeous spread as well, I think. Let me finish up the spread though first before I get too ahead of myself. So initially I had wanted to extend the days, that's why I left that space there, but I didn't end up doing that. So now I'm covering it up with some more washi from Simply Gilded, this lavender skinny confetti washi. And then after that I will zoom out and show you what stickers I have left. Again, if you want to see these plans, I mean these memories in real life, then please check out my Tokyo vlogs. Here are all the stickers I have left, quite a few, so it'll be perfect to continue using into the next week. Let me do a viv wiggle to show you all the gorgeous foil in this spread. I love the holographic foil. I definitely need to use that more often. So even though Thanksgiving is over, Dreamsgiving will continue until the end of November. I hope you're enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.